The update in Brawl Talk is finally here, and we are once again getting another free brawler. We have a lot of new skins. Power Play is getting removed. We can no longer play it. We have another Brawl Ball challenge, and we have another challenge where you can win a free skin. This is epic. So I'm excited for all of this. Let's do a deep dive into it, show you guys everything you need to know. Let's get into this. So yes, new brawlers stew. However, one order of business here, actually two. There is 74.4% of you not subscribed to my channel. So if you guys want to help support the channel, subscribe to me. And also you will not miss out on any of the new updates, sneak peeks. You're going to see exclusive stuff here. First one to know about it. So why not subscribe? Well, as you scroll to in the shop for this update, if you're gemming, another way to support the channel. But now let's talk about the speed and quickness with this new brawler. We have Stu. So the newest brawler, Stu has swag. They literally showed this awesome intro clip, dude, going through rings of fire, jetting around. This dude's crazy as well as mechanics are crazy. So Stu, you can get for free on the trophy road. Once you hit 10,000 trophies, if you're not at 10,000 trophy yet, get grinding get there or eventually you get them hopefully but that's awesome i'm really happy they added another trophy or brawl it only made sense because the trophy counts are rising rapidly so for lose mechanics and stats and everything he has 4480 hp it's kind of like on the mid range to lower on the squishy side and then for his main attack he shoots pew pew two little shots well ass shots and they literally look like a snake shout out to razor like they kind of loop in a snake, a little squiggly line, but each one of those does 840 damage. So if you land both of those bullets, because you actually can miss one, it does 1,680 damage. And if you happen to hit all three of your shots, say they're up in your face, auto aim, closing them down, it deals 5,040 damage. That is enough to melt all of the squishies like Spike, Tick, Barley, Dynamite's in there, Brock's in there, Surge is in there. His main attack packs a powerful punch. But now the cool thing about him is his Super. Reason why it's cool is because he got that speed and quickness with a dash and a dash and a dash and a dash over and over and over and over and over again because it only takes one shot to charge his super. Literally one shot. So you are going to be getting unlimited supers over and 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 over again. He's gonna be able to shoot once, dash, shoot again. If you land your shots, dash, and just get crazy positioning. Another cool thing with his super, it leaves a fire trail behind him. It has a knockback to enemy brawlers. This means you can knock Frank out of his super, enemies that have the ball in Brawl Ball. That's insane. I assume it would deal damage if you hit the person head on, but they didn't specifically say that in the Brawl Talk, and we don't see any gameplay footage of that. So again, stay tuned. But that's just crazy. And I think that's gonna be such a fun mechanic to play. You can have so much mobility and so much like speed and quickness, dude. I love that. But then now for her star power, you could see a shield in front of him so i assume that's gonna be one of his star powers similar to colette where you dash you get some sort of damage reduction or shield if i had to guess maybe for a second star power i would like to see maybe like a momentary or a couple seconds speed boost after like you dash you get extra movement speed for like a second or two that would be really quick just increase mobility for gadget i really don't know with this guy like there's so many options since he has fire on his dash as he leaves on the ground maybe he could like twirl and spin because he's like a daredevil he's, he's a stuns person Person. maybe you could like spew fire in like little puddles on the ground around him and then they maybe clear grass or something and then another gadget idea i had is maybe you activate your gadget and your next super you travel a lot farther that would make for more epic crazy plays in brawl ball so i don't know he's really interesting i think he's, he's gonna be amazing in brawl ball obviously he's got a he packs a punch but he doesn't like instantly shoot all of his damage off looking at you colonel ruffs like buff, 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 buff. it's a little bit slower and his reload speed it's, it's not like slow but it's not fast i think it's an average reload speed so i don't know it's tough to say like what other modes he's gonna be solid at but for sure brawl ball with the knockback he's gonna be amazingly fun to play i think he actually could be really good in showdown too getting that dash and dashing out of bad situations i just really am gonna have to wait and see once i get my hands on him to like see how much damage output i have it's like so they can edgar jumps on me am i able to get enough damage and maybe like think of this edgar jumps on you you shoot him once you super back he's still coming at you but you're getting your shots off and kill him so like there's gonna be a lot of interesting plays with them you're gonna have to be quick with them hands to get that super off i'm really excited about mr stew here another cool thing coming as they said later in the 
month so i'm assuming end of march we have another psg challenge you guys remember we had psg shelly a while ago nine win brawl ball challenge you get a free skin well here we have psg cup again or psg dynamite so you guys already know it's all brawl ball i love these challenges because brawl ball is really fun however you get four losses and they actually are introducing a forgiveness if you lose or you can buy more slots to lose so as you can see this person lost already four times but wait look at the top he actually lost two times so he's lost six times already and he can still buy another two slots to lose and he still has three purchases remaining this means based off of this picture you could lose up to 12 times to win now i don't believe this lost forgiveness thing is going to be added into the monthly finals however for challenges like this where it's for like a skin or just what we had like the duo showed on challenge i'm really happy that they're adding in the option to buy more losses because say you're one win away and you just ran out that feels so bad and if you want to gem 30 gems take a shot at it because you're going to buy the skin anyway it actually makes sense so i'm happy they did this but 12 losses seems like a lot but we'll have to wait and see if that's actually how much it is but i'm glad they did this one last thing as well i just noticed this dynamite is 149 gems for the skin like say you lost the challenge or purchase it later so spending 30 gems to get you over the hump there would actually save you 120 gems if you were going to buy them anyways so i like that now the elephant in the room the power play in the room current power play as we know it say think of this as power play it's gone it's literally they toss it into the trash it's getting removed no more power play it is getting replaced with a new power play league so this is 3v3 events only there's kind of like its own little road system or tier system that you go to try and level up and rank up against and you can only play either solo or with a team and if you're playing with the team you're gonna only face other teams if you're playing solo you're only gonna face other solo players this means no more playing with two other players giving it unfair advantage so you're playing solo you're facing against everyone else that's playing solo that levels the playing field and i'm so happy for this and solo players will not verse team players so that's nice and another thing is it actually selects the event randomly for you so like you might play siege you might play heist you might play brawl ball so this is going to reward players that are good at a bunch of different modes not just maybe someone that's only plays brawl ball or only plays gem grab or something so i like that a lot that it's random every time and then now matches are actually best of three so you got to win twice to get a dub here as well as the, in this mode they are adding a ban feature as well so each team gets to pick a ban and then you take turns picking brawlers so let's say pick one with shelly here that means the other team can't be shelly so so a lot of counter comping here, strategic elements going into play in here, especially if you're playing solo, you're going to have to pick brawlers that you know, like, like say, I hate this brawler or whatever. I think it probably is going to come down to random who is the banner on your team if you're playing solo. Probably just comes down to luck as well as who gets picked first, but I'm really happy to see this in the game. You may be asking yourself, well, what's the incentive to playing this? Exclusive rewards are in here. You can see earlier they had little quests there where it says play 50 matches this season and you get an exclusive player icon. And then if you reach gold two, you get another exclusive player icon. So they have exclusive icons as well as they actually have exclusive skins like the smuggler penny here, which actually looks incredible. So that is really epic. But then another question would pop up, well, Ben, how do I get star points from this? As you play matches, as you rank up, you hit little different tiers where at the end of the season, you get a bunch of star points. The seasons are going to coincide with the brawl pass season. So they're going to be long seasons. So you can play as many matches as you want during the day or whenever. It doesn't matter. But if you lose, you kind of slowly go down the tier if you win you go up the tier the harder opponents you beat the more you go along the tier and they didn't show it here in the brawl talk but they said you have to get to a certain tier to be able to unlock smuggler penny for 25,000 star points so i don't know where that is on the tier but once you get there you get enough star points you can actually unlock her and i would assume this is exclusive for like season one so smuggler penny after season you probably will no longer be able to get it which is nice because people were asking for exclusive rewards along these so it incentivized players to want to play continue to play especially when they have good skills like that so that's what we know so far about this mode i'll obviously do a huge deep dive into it just explain everything in better detail once we are able to get our hands on it in the dev build so again stay tuned for those sneak peeks one last thing too you have to be at 4500 trophies to unlock power play league now other changes here we have hot zone and siege getting added into the map maker i'm really excited about that i, I was wondering when they would do this i still hoping for more map maker slots come on brawl stars i need more than five there's a new bb lante skin coming in here i wonder when they're gonna add like arc villain b though because that's like the only one that's not from supercell make still that we're waiting on but last thing as well they showed we're getting more animated pins with bowl and frank and then they said and more so there's still more to come in this update so find it out here on the sneak peeks i actually don't know if i had to guess maybe another brawler 
but I doubt it. They would have for sure teased it. Maybe more gadgets, balance changes, stuff like that. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the new Brawler Stew. Hope you guys are excited for this update because I sure am due to that speed and quickness. Unlimited supers is insane. I'll see you guys later.